Guys, do you believe it is easier to find a woman nowadays who is willing to submit or to find a man who is willing to commit? Make sure you let me know in the comment section and let's see what some people have to say about this question. Let's get right into the video. Make sure before you continue watching, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Easier for a woman to get a man to commit or for a man to get a woman to submit? Um, easy for a man to get a woman to submit. Why? Because if you meet the right woman, and she has the right mindset and, and she connects with you, it's easy for her to listen and make the man feel, you know, that he's in charge. Because if you're a top tier man, you already had a resource and accolades for a woman to automatically want to be around you. So if she want to be around you, she's willingly going to submit and make sure she's always in your favor, especially when you are providing a certain type of lifestyle. Why should women determine that a man leads before she will submit? Because a man should be leading himself. So if she can't see that you're leading yourself, how you expect her to believe to for you to lead her it don't make sense. i really don't agree with none of their statement i mean why would a man have to prove that he can provide a certain type of lifestyle and that is the number one reason why it is so hard to find a woman nowadays who is willing to submit to the man and not to the lifestyle that type of mindset is the number one reason for why there are so many modern western women nowadays who are only willing to submit to men who either make six figures who are either six feet tall or who can support a certain type of lifestyle or upgrade and elevate the woman's current lifestyle women have to always do more besides just listening to the man in order for that man to feel like he is the man of the household and the relationship no us women we have to listen we have to behave we have to act and respond accordingly in order to be a fit partner to our men ladies let me tell you being a submissive partner to your men is not as hard as you think in fact you are doing less but you are doing the right things and the impact on your relationship the outcome can only be positive I promise you that and also being a submissive partner does not mean that you cannot have a career it doesn't mean that you cannot make more than the men but you have to leave your paycheck by the door the moment you step into your home because the man is not looking for a woman who can make more money who has the bigger car who has the better career these are all things that a man is not looking for in a woman he just wants to be with a simple minded woman who is willing to submit who is willing to be feminine who is willing to be soft who is willing to provide some peace and comfort to that man once he comes home but unfortunately nowadays we are living during times where a lot of women feel offended once they hear the term being a submissive partner watch this so i've said this before but i guess i need to say it again no i don't believe in submitting to a man <laughs> can you imagine and why you ask so check this out number one i don't submit because i'm not submissive number two i have never met a man that i felt was superior to me so why would i why does the man have to be superior to the woman in order for her to submit to him to begin with i mean i don't know in my world that just doesn't make any sense but guys you need to read between the lines when these women are talking to us because her saying that she has never met a man who she felt like was superior to her means that she was been with men who she felt like she was superior to them meaning she always felt like she was better than them meaning she would always think that the men that she has been with so far are always beneath her now what does that tell you about her mindset what does that tell you about a woman with that type of mindset today what can you use this woman for i'm not saying use because i feel like women are too supposed to be used but we got to make relationships work if you and i cannot function on a daily basis in order to build our empire because you have this type of mindset you deserve to be alone why would i submit <laughs> Three, it is not the way of my ancestors. I am a traditionalist and traditionally we were not patriarchal and we did not submit to the man. Guys, I don't think that this woman is listening to herself speak. Can you imagine what would have happened if our women ancestors would have not submitted to their men back in the days? These women probably would have been eaten alive. Eaten alive, not being able to provide for themselves because they simply didn't have the skills to provide for themselves. It was our male ancestors sisters who sat in the bushes all day long so they can just bring home some food that the woman can prepare and meanwhile the woman is at home taking care of the household taking care of the children I'm not saying that this is how it's supposed to be today but you have to look at the bigger picture it's about making it work doing it for the family unit it's about listening to the man following his lead so things can function the way they are supposed to be 
But what happens when you live in a modern world where women think that it's an attack on them if they are supposed to work with the man to make something work? And fourth, and most importantly, I literally gave you life. Why would I submit to you? <laughs> make it make sense and it just don't. Not now, not tomorrow, not never, okay? I hope that clears it up for you. No, honey, all your statements do is make you sound ridiculous. I am so embarrassed for us as women when I hear women like herself talk, to be honest with you. Because obviously now women can give birth to men without the male species being involved in any kind of way. Where do they do that at? Somebody let me know in the comment section so I can go there and check it out. Just ridiculous. How are you supposed to function with a woman who thinks like that? Now, she just told us about her mindset. Can you imagine what her actions could look like? It's a fact that women nowadays have self-esteem issues. That's why they feel like they have to compete with everyone that's coming into their environment. I mean, why do you think it is so important for women to get their points across telling everybody and especially men that they make a certain amount of money, that they have a certain degree, that they drive a certain car, that they can do all of these things for themselves, which means that they don't need a man. All of these average things, but when a man, an average man does these average things, all of a sudden, and that's not good for the average woman. Now make that make sense. But luckily there are a few women left on this planet who know and understand the concept of being a supportive partner. And my overall goal, for instance, is that when my husband comes home from work, I want to make sure that I provide a comfortable and peaceful atmosphere and environment after he hadn't deal with the madness of the world. Like, I don't want that man having to come home and deal with my madness, no. I want him to look forward to come home. I want him to look at me and be at peace when he looks at me. I want to be his peace. And whatever disturbs his peace is going to disturb my peace. Let's listen to a young woman who is a career woman herself, but understands the concept of being a submissive partner. And let me tell you, her thoughts, the way she thinks, is so refreshing. More power to her and her men. Let's get into the video. Then uh, just the other day, he came in after working because he's a music producer. So he's California poor, which okay, means, okay. you know, every home there is like one and a half million. You Absolutely. know, it's like that. Absolutely. But he um, came in, he's a music producer and he also is a performer. So he came in at 2 a.m. Okay. and then fell asleep on the couch, you know, uh, listening to like music for other clients. So, I mean, like from one job right to the other job. Right. It's that work ethic that I respect because I recognize it. That's how hard I work. So I came in, you know, because I stay up for my man. The minute that his door, the door opened, I, I say, hey, do you need food? What do you need when you come in? How can I help? Even though I worked a work day because I understand it. So I'm coming in. He fell asleep on the couch, taking off his shoes, making sure he's good. You know, all of that helped carry him to the bed because he's just tired. His feet hurt, you know, and then the next morning I'll wake up, make sure he has breakfast. I'm tired, too, but I have a little bit more than he does. He does the same thing for me. Like, mm. it really is a union of 50-50. Exactly. Us women always have to do a tad bit more compared to what our men are doing. And you know what? That is absolutely okay with a woman who feels absolutely comfortable and confident and content within her own skin as being the woman of the household. Even during times where I made more money than my husband, obviously because of the given situation, him coming to Germany and living with me, it was never a question. It was never about our paychecks. It was never about how much I make and how much he doesn't make. Absolutely not. I would still provide for that man as if he would make 10 times more than I do. But you know what? Those are the super or the true superpowers of a woman. Going to work, knowing that she's the woman of the household, taking care of the household, the children, and her men. Those are superpowers of a woman that a man, any man, would appreciate. So if you are a woman out there and you think your career makes you a superwoman to these men, no, honey, it absolutely doesn't. I am proud of her and proud of all women who know how important it is to serve their men. And also I am proud of all men who responsibly take care of their women and their children. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was a little enlightening for you. I want to use this platform to give you guys and also women examples of what to do and not to do in a relationship, which can benefit you, your environment, and your whole personal world overall. Thank you so much for liking this video, commenting on it, subscribing to my channel. Use my message for educational purposes and make sure you stay tuned for more content. Thank you so much. Sending you much love and life. Truly yours.